Hey guys, so this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I have lots of really good items to show to you guys. And the first item that I'm going to show you guys is this magazine. It says Royal Wedding. And I thought this would be good to show first because it is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding today. I did watch the Royal Wedding for Princess Di. I absolutely love her. I didn't watch the Royal Wedding for Prince William or the Cambridge of Duke, whatever you want to refer to him as. So this just has different pictures of them, um, different, you know, little articles, stuff about them. And this one got a little bit bent up in the bag, so I think I'm going to purchase one more today and put it aside because I have magazines and books of Princess Diana put aside. I just like to save stuff like this. So there's that. There's Princess Diana. That picture is so adorable. There's Prince William and Prince Harry when they were younger. So there's that. We got lots of auto items, you guys. I was at Disneyland and Universal Studios. I just got back day before yesterday. We got a truck yesterday. So they got all of these items yesterday. And we still have all of the items. But... We got these really nice, thick, heavy-duty auto mats, and I guess they all got taken before they even made it to the floor. Normally, they save stuff like this for me, but for whatever reason, they didn't put any aside for me. Um, I bought these ones. They were on one of the registers, and I guess um, one of the workers put them aside for her friend, so I'm going to offer them back to her, which... Kind of sucked because now that means I get none. Um, from what I heard, I guess there were these single ones. And I really thought these would be nice for my back seat because um, when these get dirty, you can literally just take a scrub brush and some dish soap, give it a scrub and hose it off with the hose and let them dry. And they protect your carpeting so well. I don't remember where they said all these items were from, if it was AutoZone, Cragen, but it was one of the really nice auto stores like that. This is in the Croco brand. It says heavy duty, all weather, deep rib design, traps dirt and moisture, and anti-slip nib backing. So they said they had these. Then they had um, one that was really long to go in the back seat on the floor. They also had these two packs for the front seat. So you got two of the really thick ones for a dollar. You know, the ones that um, are the longer ones for driver and passenger. They had like a cream colored one. They were just plain black. And I don't know if they had clear ones for the front seat. So um, I might try to see if I can um, maybe go to some other Dollar Trees and find some. But I highly doubt it because those are going to be taken probably mainly by workers and any that do make it to the floor will be taken like on the spot. So I did get lots of other auto items. There were also a lot that I passed on. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, you need to go right away and get it. So this is the Auto Expressions brand and it's the Zebra Auto Shade. I did get a couple of these items for friends, but I didn't go crazy, at least I don't think so. When I left, like I said, there were still lots of these type of items, so I definitely didn't wipe them out. Um, it's the um, double pop-up, um, like it says, auto shade. It says it makes your um, vehicle 44 degrees Fahrenheit cooler or 25 degrees Celsius cooler. So that's a pretty big um, cool down for your car. And I like to have those up in the summertime. I have a Hello Kitty one. They do make a difference, you guys. I got this one, also Auto Expressions. This one has the hot pink on it and the zebra. This one's just the zebra, and this one's also the double pop-up ones. These type aren't my favorite. I always have trouble um, getting them folded back down, but um, I didn't want to pass on them. I got this one. This is the Pink Leopard in the Auto Expressions Auto Shade. I thought this was super cute. Um, they also had ones with palm trees. Like, they were kind of a gold beige color with palm trees. They had just plain ones. I got another one of this one. And then a second one of the Leopard one. I got these right here. 
These are the um, Genuine Sheepskin Seatbelt Shoulder Pads. And I think these were the last two of these ones. But I found these on an end cap. There was also a separate section with them in our seasonal area. So there might have been more of these over there. And it's funny because I literally just bought the Hello Kitty ones at 99 cent only. But because these are so soft and it says they're genuine sheepskin, I couldn't pass them up. Also, the Auto Expressions brand. Then they had these really big ones, you guys. And these were the ones I was impressed with. So these are, and they're really um, thick, nice quality. They're not those flimsy ones that you normally get at some of the Dollar Tree or not Dollar Tree, but dollar type stores where they just don't stay up. It even has the um, strap to Velcro it and Auto Expressions brand Universal UFIT C sizing chart on back. So there's that one. I got two of. So I got two of this leopard. I got two of this white and black zebra with the hot pink. I got, I of course had to get this one. And there was this one and one other one left of the flag. And um, my father-in-law's brother came in and bought that one. This is the f American flag, which I was super excited. This is my favorite one because 4th of July is coming up. And... I just like to represent our flag, so I got that one, but I only got one of those ones. And then this one, um, I didn't purchase it at first, but then I went back and grabbed this one for my mother-in-law because I don't know that she's going to want leopard or zebra, and I know she likes the flowers and stuff like that. So this one looks like that, and she likes the turquoise color. It's got the reflective silver, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these bigger heavy duty ones, the accordion style ones. Let me get those out of the way. And I would never normally purchase this many of these items if there weren't tons more. Like I said, yes, there were only two left of these that I could see, but I only got two. So then I got um, one of these I put two aside, but they were the last two, and a customer wanted one, so I gave the customer one, and then I saved one for myself. It says it's a shatterproof glass lid, and it's for a pressure cooker, but I'm actually using this for a smaller pot because I have a smaller pot that is missing the lid, and this is like a nice, heavy-duty, nice-quality lid, you guys. It's the Philippe, Philippe or Philippe Richard Accessories brand. So I got that also. We got all this good stuff when I left, you guys. Then I got this. I thought this was super adorable. It says, in God we trust. I love the fact that it has God on it. It's got the heart. You guys know I love hearts. So I need to um, get my yard. Um, we just mowed it, but I need to edge and then put all my flag stuff out there. I picked up a couple of these totes. And not going to lie, these ones aren't the best quality, but they are cute. I got the pineapple with the hot pink. I got this one. It got a little wrinkled up. The flamingo. And then I got this one right here. But I used this one on our vacation. I have so many totes. I just honestly grabbed one that was um, the closest. It says, let the sea... Let the sea set you free. And I love the colors, and I love um, the kind of metallic-y silver. I think it's super cute. This one is my favorite out of all three. So that's even still got the stuff in it. I haven't even unpacked everything. I just, this morning, started a load of laundry with all of our dirty clothes and stuff like that. So then I got... Um, a couple of cookbooks. I don't think I showed these to you guys. I'm almost positive I didn't. Um, I got, because I got these before I left. So I got these about six days ago, something like that. Junior's Dessert Cookbook, 75 Recipes for Cheesecakes, Pies, Cookies, Cakes, and More by Alan Rosen and Beth Allen. So now is the time also to look for any crafting books, cookbooks. We're getting in tons of really nice ones. 
So I'm not going to go through all of the pages, obviously, but I'll just kind of um, flip through. So Rocky Road Sunday, Junior's Mud Pie, Junior's 60th Anniversary Cheesecake. Just lots of really nice dessert recipes. There were a couple that I passed on as well that were really nice only because I have so many cookbooks. But what I like to do with the cookbooks is give them out for Christmas, um, birthdays, mainly Christmas. I like to give cookbooks out to like my aunts, uncles, stuff like that. So this is the True Blood Eats, Drinks, and Bites from Bon Temps. So the TV show True Bloods, which I didn't even realize that until I started flipping through it. So it's got um, scenes from, I believe that's a TV show, not a movie. Um, and it's just got different recipes in it. And then drinks you can mix up. So there's that. I got this one. I don't know how you pronounce that. Chew. Um, Chic and Delicious French Pastries by Hannah Miles. I don't even know what shoe is, honestly. <clears throat> so it's got um, just different, like it says. Um, I think it said French pastries and desserts. Coffee, Religue. Rel I don't know, but I love coffee. Triple chocolate chew buns. Vanilla eclairs, yum. So there's that one. I got this one. I thought this was really pretty. This would be nice. I actually thought about giving this away for Mother's Day, but I ended up forgetting about the cook, the cookbooks in there. The Whimsical Bakehouse Collection, Little Cakes and Kid Cakes. So it's got just different things in there. Look at that sand castle cake, you guys. These would actually be really fun to try and make. Lipstick cookies. Let's see. Show you like two more. Mm. So there's lots of um, cute little stuff in there, you guys. Okay, so there's that. There's this one. And in all honesty, you guys, I did not know that this cookbook um, was like this until I got home. Actually, no, I showed it to a coworker. It's called Cox Cookies and Cake. I just got it because it was colorful, it had Marilyn Monroe on it, and um, she got to flipping through it, and there was a recipe with, right there, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope if there's any kids, turn your head, so um, yeah, I didn't know that's what this cookbook was, <laughs> so I got that, um, then I saw a customer come up with lots of really cute children's books and they were nice ones i only found one it's called nasty bugs by lee bennett hopkins and will terry it's not one of the like chintzy ones it's actually like a nice book that you would get at like barnes and nobles or something like that at least i think so flies poem ball weevil weevil ode to a dead mosquito so i thought that would be um, either a nice gift or to read to my niece and nephew when they come over. I got this to hang on the wall. It says, All You Need Is Love. It's got the turquoise and the heart. Super cute. We had these three packs of Sharpies. I thought this was a great deal because we normally only sell the one packs of Sharpies. It's got black, blue, and red. For a dollar, you can't beat that, you guys. I got these super adorable little mermaid nail clippers. I think I got, I either got two or three of those. One for myself and then, myself, one for myself and then one for a gift or a friend. I got a bunch of these gl Car Glade scented oils in the lavender and vanilla. I do, in fact, already have the warmer. We didn't have the actual um, warmer. We just had the refills. You can get the warmer for these at Walmart, Target, any, like, auto store, and they're not expensive. These at Walmart or Target, I think, are around 
five to six dollars somewhere in that range so these are a really good deal and if it has vanilla and lavender I'm happy so as you can see I went a little bit crazy on them because we had a lot of them I love to keep my car smelling really good we also had these Osium the anywhere odor eliminator these aren't like a Dollar Tree item so it says that they um, that new car smell eliminates smoke and odors twist top to adjust scent level so I got those so it looks like I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the Glade Lavender and Vanilla. So I should be good on those for a while. I got a roll of the paper towel. It's 140 sheets. It is 58.86 square feet. I need to get my butt to Target and get a pack of toilet paper and paper towels. I just bought toilet paper before, well, not right before we left, but it's already out. So I just picked up one of these temporarily. I'll probably go to Target after work today. It's 122.2 square feet. The home store brand, nothing exciting. I got two of these Reach Instant Whitening Pins. So I'm going to start using this every day and see if I notice any difference. It says starts whitening as quickly as one day. So I got that. I don't know if this is just supposed to be like a temporary whitening thing or if it's supposed to whiten your teeth the more and more you use it. I thought these were adorable. I actually opened the box to these. I saw them in the back. And I was like, I am not waiting for these to get opened. Nothing super exciting, but I love um, the look of them. They've got the bling on them. And then you can refill these with other ones. And the scents are right up my alley. So there's the cupcake scented one and the marshmallow scented one. Sometimes the scents at Dollar Tree are a little bit eh, like off. But we'll see how these are. They are one ounce each. And I'm constantly using hand sanitizer at work, in the car. I will connect these to my purse or my keychain. This one has little flowers on it. And then the other one has little diamonds. So I got those. I already picked up, I think, six of the um, Crest whitening ones. They were white and, like, blue or something like that. And now they had these ones in the navy blue and the bright lime green it's the crest hd um pro health fluoride toothpaste for anti-cavity six times the health improvement and six times whitening in one week it's the two-step system so it's got one or two tubes in there i picked up three of these dove men care soaps for jordan and robert we get these kind of every now and again at Dollar Tree, and I like to stock up when we do get them. Normally, I get like six, but we have a lot of bar soap right now. In the auto section with all of the new stuff that came, um, they had a bunch of different scent things for your car. This is the little oil thing that goes in your vent, and this is in the crisp, is it, yeah, crisp linen. It says 45 days of this smell. See, it's got the little um, clip on the back. I got three of these Cedarwood Spice soft soaps, and we tend to get a lot of the same soft soaps over and over. We don't get the seasonal ones very often, so when I see a new one, I definitely stock up on it. Yes, I know at Walmart, they're like 88 cents or Something like that, but sometimes they are 98 cents. So these are 7.5 ounces, and I did get this one in the fall, and I did like it. So I was happy about that. I picked up two more packs of the Sesame Street Hushables. This is, it says, cushiony thick in the shea buttercream. We go through baby wipes so much. So I'm constantly buying them. I actually need to get down to Costco and get like a huge thing of them. I put these in a Huggies baby wipe box in the bathroom. And yes, 
um, these can flush. They don't ruin my toilet or anything. They say they're thick, but they're not super thick. This was another auto expressions item. The leaf scent, and this is in the Tommy. So it's inspired, I guess, by the Tommy Hill figure. Um, one, it's got four of them in there. I picked up a pack of my Carefree Original Penny Liners in the Fresh Scent. You get 20 of them. We are out of tote bags, or not tote bags, regular bags at my store until next Thursday. So when I purchased some of this stuff last night, I just picked up this tote. I think I might already have this one, either that or I meant to buy it and I forgot and then we ran out. So I'm glad I have this one because I do like this color combination. And this is one of the really big ones. I picked up this double pack of the Wet n Wild. It's got the lipstick and the nail color. I might have this color in Wet n Wild already, but I think that's a really pretty color. As you can see, I picked up some of the Glade Hawaiian Breeze Vent Sticks, but I already put them in my car because we detailed the car before we left to Universal and Disneyland. I wanted it to smell good. Oh, that's just... Then I got this one, and it's in... I was trying to see if they had a name. So this one has the bright Ferrari red lipstick and nail polish. I don't know if I showed you guys because I purchased so many signs. I'm almost, yeah, I did show you guys these. There's a fourth one. So if you didn't see them, there's those. I picked up one of the black ice little trees. I do like the new car and the black ice. It's just one, but only a buck. I picked up um, some 4th of July or flag items. I got this one and they have ones just like this at Target but they're three dollars a piece. I love that it's got um, the metallic um, mirrored look in there with the red speckles. So I got the red of course blue and silver. Tell me those are not super cute you guys and they're like nice and heavy duty. So I will be displaying those. I picked up two of these 4th of July decorative items. It's got the, I'm going to gift one either to my mother-in-law or one to my Grammy. I'm not sure. I'll probably actually pick up one more and gift one to each of them. I like to pick them up, little seasonal signs, and, you know, I just... You guys know how I am. I just like to give stuff to people. So it's got the cute little bow at the top. Red, white, and blue. And I love the fact that they are glittery. You guys know I love the glitter. So there's those. Super adorable. I'm accumulating quite a little pile up here. And yes, I know it probably annoys some people that I constantly do that. That's just my OCD. I got some movies, DVDs, and I know we have Netflix, we have, you know, the YouTube, we have the Fire Stick, so many different things we can watch movies on, but if the internet goes out or we're traveling and we take the portable DVD player, it's nice to have DVDs. I have a huge, I mean, very huge collection of DVDs. So I got this one called The Call Up. I also like to pick up DVDs for my grandpa for Christmas because... He watches them in his portable DVD player at work. He is a cop, so sometimes if he's, like, guarding prisoners, he has to be sitting there or at the courthouse. He has a little portable DVD player. I got Jarhead 2 Field of Fire. This one I got for him for Christmas. It's called Dark Frontier. He likes the westerns. I might probably give him this one as well. <clears throat> and then, of course, I had to get the Beverly Hillbillies. It's a two-DVD set that is... Like a classical movie. Or a classic. I picked up um, one or two of the Leopard Scarf. I have so many of them. But I like this print of Leopard. I thought it was cute. 
I picked up three more of my Salon Selectives Damage Repair Deep Treatment Conditioner. I use this as an everyday conditioner. Well, I guess you wouldn't say everyday because I don't wash my hair every day, but every time I use conditioner, this is what I use. I purchased a bunch of shampoos, shampoos, I can't talk, and conditioners at a yard sale, and they were $2 each for Suave, Pantene, just a, lots of different brands, and I got the, um, what are they? One is like Honey Something, they're newer ones, and they're more expensive, and I've been using those only because they smell so good, they make your hair so soft. I can't think of the name of them, if you're interested to know... Um, leave a comment. I can look at them and um, I'll reply with what the name of the name of them are. Then I picked up this Billy Blanks Tybo. I thought I would try to do this as a workout. <clears throat> so there's that. I picked up. I shouldn't have purchased this, but I picked up this baby blue mug. I've been trying to get rid of. Lots of my dishes. I might exchange this for something else. <clears throat> I picked up these little lip glosses. And they are the little seashells. I got the pink, white, and blue. I thought those were so cute. I'm going to display those in my beauty room. I need to get a drink of my coffee, you guys. It's probably freezing cold. So these are the ones that I purchased in, I was telling you, in white or blue. It's like purple. They're the Crest 3D White Fluoride Toothpaste. It's a whitening kit. It's got two tubes as well. So I don't know the difference in <clears throat> these. I think it's just that this one is the Brilliance and the other one is just the regular Crest 3D White. I don't know. I got six, I think, of these. And no, it's not three for a dollar. They just weren't unpacked all the way. We got them out of the boxes. I'm always using um, hair scrunchies or rubber bands, so I picked up this pack. It's the Scrunchy Lounge Elastics. It came with this one. I don't know. To me, I wouldn't use that in my hair. That would probably hurt. It says eight pieces, and I love the colors. They had brown type ones with black, beige, or khaki color. They had green and blue ones, and I got that one. <clears throat> what else is in here? I got some new toothbrushes. I got the firm. And normally Dollar Tree doesn't have the firm. They just have the medium and soft. And I prefer firm. When you're trying to whiten your teeth, firm is going to help whiten them a lot better because it scrubs them a lot harder, <clears throat> if that makes sense. Sorry, guys. My throat is bothering me, probably from screaming on all the rides. <clears throat> That's why I keep clearing my throat. I picked up, I don't even know how many, six, eight, somewhere in there, of these red and white premium quality creamers. I thought this was a great deal for the size. It's 22 ounces of the powdered creamer. I use powdered creamer in the morning, and then I do like um, a splash of liquid hazelnut. That's probably weird, but my coffee comes out really good. Super fattening, I know, but... My coffee is not going to be messed with. <clears throat> I picked up these super cute wine magnets. I don't drink, so these will be gifted out for Christmas or birthdays. This one says it's wine o'clock. A meal without wine is called breakfast. And of course, size matters. No one wants a small glass of wine. So I got those. I also got this magnet. I'm going to do a little gift basket for Robert's dad for Father's Day, so I'm going to put this in there. It says cold beer brew pub for like his garage or something. I decided to try out the Poo Be Gone. I would like to get the Poopery, but that stuff is really expensive. So this one is in the lavender vanilla. I thought, yeah, I did. I got the citrus one as well. Um, I'll probably like the lavender and vanilla one better, but decided just to try them both. These are 1.85 ounces each. I got this. 
It's the five function pocket tool on the Toolbench hardware brand. It's got the knife, the saw, the carabiner to hold it, the nail file, and the bottle opener. I got this for Jordan to put into like his tackle box or something like that. I think it has little scissors on it as well. I had put together a baby shower gift for Robert's baby brothers that are going to be born anytime now. His dad is having twins. And I got the set that had like the charcoal color, white, a light gray, and then one with, um, I think, baby elephants that were gray. Super cute for a dollar. And I just picked up a girl one because I thought they were a really good deal. And then if I need a baby shower gift for a girl, I put stuff aside when it's a good deal like that. So I know I'll end up gifting it out. Is that everything, you guys? I guarantee you there's going to be something that gets left out because that always, always happens. Um, I'll show you guys um, the Mickey Mouse mugs that I got. One second. So as I told you guys, we went to Disneyland. These were the ears that I picked out. They were the rose gold ones. And then as we were walking by Indiana Jones, I saw these leopard print ones, and they were gold, not rose gold, but just gold, and then they had sequins made into cheetah print, and I was like, oh my gosh, I almost bought them, and I was like, no, we only went to Disneyland for one day, and then we did Universal, and these are like 30 bucks, so I didn't get that one, so next time I think I'm going to get the Safari pair, because we're going to be going there again this summer. And then Robert picked out the stitch hat. This was also about 30 bucks. So I thought that was cute. I got Jordan's mom. Let me see. A keychain at Universal Studios. It says Hollywood. And it's got the bling on it. I wanted to get a lounge fly purse. Um, one second. I wanted to get a lounge fly purse, and I totally should have just bought one at Disneyland because I decided to get one once we got to Universal. They had Hello Kitty ones. They had, um, I don't know if the Betty Boop one was lounge fly, but um, it was a Betty Boop purse. Sorry, lost. I was like trying to do that and uh, talk at the same time. Lost my train of thought. So, when we go to Disneyland this summer, I'm just going to get my lounge fly little mini backpack or purse at Disneyland because they have a, a much bigger variety when it comes to purses. They have the Dooney and Burke lounge fly. I might also get a Dooney and Burke. It just depends on which one I really like. I almost bought the Hello Kitty one, but I feel like when you're buying an expensive purse like that, you have to really, when you see it, just love it and you know that's the one. It was like, it was cute, but I wasn't like in love with it. So I decided, you know what? Nope, I'm going to wait. I'm not in love with it. One that I did see at Disneyland I thought was really cute was a black Minnie Mouse lounge fly backpack. One of the mini, as not in Minnie Mouse, but smaller. And then it had the red mini ears. So it was very simple black, but just mini ears. And I almost bought it. I Now I wish I would have. But just so you know... On the Wish app, they have lots of Disney lounge fly purses for a lot cheaper, and they are um, legitimate lounge fly, purse, lounge fly purses. They are still expensive, but they're cheaper than getting them at Disneyland. <clears throat> oh, dang. Thank God those didn't bang together. So I also got some cute sweatshirts, which I will grab and show those to you in a second. So these were actually from Target. I got this for um, Jordan's mom. <clears throat> I got this one for myself. These were $5.99 each. This one has mini, and it says, Hello, Gorgeous. So if you go to Disneyland and you want to get souvenirs and, um, you know, they're super expensive, these mugs at Disneyland would have been $25. I looked at a bunch of mugs. They range anywhere from $16 all the way up to $25. So you can go to Target now because they have all of the Minnie and Mickey stuff. This huge one is for myself because you guys know I absolutely love the huge mugs. This was $5.99 as well. They have these really heavy duty, um, you know, like the water bottles that are, what are they made out of? Like kind of a heavy metal and they have the screw top. 
They had those for $9.99 at Target with um, gold mini ears on the or Mickey ears. Just lots of different cute ones, and they were only $9.99. So this huge one, like I said, also $5.99. So I know I got two for myself. And then there was a Safari um, Mickey head and mini um, ears. Sorry, I cannot talk this morning, you guys. I haven't even finished my coffee uh, coffee mug near Indiana Jones, and I almost bought it, but I wanted to see if there were any other mugs I liked first at Disneyland, and then we didn't end up going back to that side of the park. So that's another thing I'm going to be getting in the little safari store when I go back. The leopard ears, mini ears with the sequins and bling, and the safari coffee mug. So I got all three of those at Target for Alexia and Isaiah. They're my niece and nephew. For kind of like souvenirs. I got them the Mickey Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. So those were only a dollar each. I got them each a Mickey Mouse Lollipop. Also only a dollar. And then they had this pack of stickers also for a dollar. And it has six sheets. So I'm going to take out... Probably two sheets, and I'll give one to Alexia, one to Isaiah, and then I'm keeping the rest for myself because tell me those are not super cute for a dollar. So that's their souvenirs. And Jordan's dad, I thought about giving him this mug, but he doesn't use mugs that much, and I just really want it. And this was the last one of the big one. So there's that. Let me see. Also from Target, this is in a... Mickey or mini item. I picked up these um, makeup wipes. I was completely out of makeup wipes last night. I was scrounging, looking everywhere, could find none. We were also out of baby wipes. Well, no, I bought some, but they were in the trunk and I was too lazy to go out there. Um, <clears throat> so I made sure and bought these yesterday. They're the Up and Up Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And these compare to the Neutrogena Makeup Remover ones, Ultra Soft Cloths. Paraben free, you get 25 of them. And then let me get the sweatshirts to show them to you guys. Okay guys, so I paused it and went and got the sweatshirts. Hopefully I can spread them out. There's still all the stuff on the blanket and the couch, so just ignore that. So I got this one. Tell me this is not super adorable once you can actually see what it looks like. So it's got the hood with the red and white polka dots inside, and then the top has the mini ears with the bow, and then the body looks like Minnie with her little shoes, so then your head comes out the top, and then of course the back just looks like the back of Minnie. Looks like that. And then Roberts, we told Jordan um, he should get one, but... He said no because he said he'd only wear it at Disneyland. He said he probably wouldn't wear it. And yes, Roberts is dirty. I'm going to wash it. But I'm going to wash them on um, gentle with only cold water because I don't want the Mickey ears to get messed up. So here's Roberts. It's got Mickey, Mickey's body. And then his is just red on the inside, no polka dots. And then it's got the Mickey ears on the top. And like I said, ignore it. It's super dirty. Um, he was getting like lots of little different treats at Disneyland, like a churro, the little Mickey ear Rice Krispie treats with chocolate and M&Ms, just all the different little stuff. And then um, <clears throat> on each of the sleeves, it says Mickey Mouse. Mine says Minnie Mouse. So I thought that was really cute. And these were like 76 or 78 it came out to like 149 dollars i think plus tax for both of them so yes you guys disneyland is very expensive but well worth it <clears throat> also um i wanted to make a video for you guys um kind of with some of the like tips i wouldn't say tricks but just tips for disneyland when you're going different ways to save money um, just different things you can do, different secrets around the park. There's way to get little different free things like, um, a free death certificate from the Haunted Mansion or just little secrets around the park that a lot of people don't know about it. Like one of the things is, um, near the bayou, the wheelhouse boat, 
you can um, ask one of the cast members. Um, you knock on, I forget, you go downstairs, there's a door, you knock on it, and you can steer the boat and pull the horn, and then there's a guest book that you will get to sign. All of this for free, you guys, and it shows you who also in the guest book steered the boat and rang the bell. Just different little things like that. So if any of you guys are interested in any of these tips or different ways to save money, just let me know and I will make a video. And I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I showed. I have to get off now and put our work uniforms to dry and get all of this stuff cleaned up, get everything unpacked, and I will have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys probably, I want to say, in a week because there's lots of really nice items um, that I would still like to buy. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. It will notify you every time one of my videos is uploaded so you don't have to search for my videos. Then you'll just know that they're there. Also, I have an Instagram. It's Breakup to Makeup One. I post a lot of the pictures of stuff that I see in the stores, even stuff that I didn't purchase there the quickest. So I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.